Today we will be talking about Sweden and Finland they decide to join NATO. What stars have up their sleeve for this? You see, this news comes just near when there is a planetary war between Jupiter and Venus as I've mentioned and I've made a video for that. And this uh, conjunction and this planetary war is taking place at 3 degrees. And Mars, you see, in mundane astrology, whatever happens, until and unless the planet Mars activates it, it the explosive things do not occur, the, the, the burst or the maximum outcome of the conjunction or the planetary positions is only seen when Mars activates it. Mars will reach Pisces on the 17th of May when application for joining NATO by Sweden and Finland will be given and Mars will reach 3 degrees on the 21st of May. So 21st between 17th to 21st of May will be most explosive for the world because the brawl between the NATO countries and Russia will take an ugly dimension. And then if you see, as I've already mentioned, that right now the planetary positions are not that conducive for a big war. But as time passes by, you see when Mars joins Aries, Rahu, and then Saturn will be fallen and it will aspect Ketu. Ketu is a planet for explosions and it is just like Mars. Mars will be expecting, Mars will be expecting from Pisces at the time of joining <coughs> the NATO countries by, uh, the, by Sweden and Finland. Mars will aspect Ketu by its aspect and Saturn will aspect Rahu by third aspect. But when Mars joins Ketu and Saturn, fallen Saturn aspects, Ketu and it will be almost degree wise close to 23, 24 degrees between 31st of July to 10th of August will be most prone period for an explosive war. It may not be like it's something parallel to WW2 definitely. And I already mentioned that in my previous articles that July, end of July to middle of August is most prone time and Ketu is explosion, terrorism, blasts and then Mars is aspecting, Mars is joining Rahu, it's forming a Garak Yoga in the first house of the natural zodiac and the tenth, in the tenth house Saturn is placed in a fallen state. And it aspects Ketu in the seventh house in the sign Libra. So it will be most explosive. Friends, this is this news which has come that they are joining is most explosive. And that is why I made this video. I'm, I fear to write all this, but you can't help it. And because of this, the stock and financial markets will take a beating. They take a beating much before it. And I have already mentioned that the stock and financial markets will become, will remain volatile. And around this period, they will they can take a big beating and gold can rise. As I mentioned, gold will rise till it is in Leo Navansha. And after it, Jupiter, sorry, Jupiter in Leo Navansha, then gold will rise. And the moment it leaves Leo, then there is a probability for it to fall. So the metals, by and large, they will surge. There will be escalation and there will be shortage of oil and coal products. There will be shortage. So this is all friends. I just wanted to share that this news is not good. And the whole, it is not good for the whole world because 
the uh, the brawl between Russia and Ukraine will take an ugly shape, and especially because the NATO countries, you know, a lot of countries, the Finland and Sweden will join NATO countries, and already Russia has warned them of the consequences. So it is obvious that Russia can attack between 17th of May to 21st of May. I am making this prediction beforehand. My dear friends, note this these predictions. So this is all friends I just wanted to share. Although the planetary position, one of the uh, onlookers of my video and my article says that I am making a negative prediction, but I can't help it, you see. Whatever the astrologer sees, he has to warn, forewarn the people. Otherwise, what is the use of astrology? Good news is always good. There is no uh, uh, nothing to say about it. But uh, what astrology warns is that when you are driving a car at a speed of 100 kilometers and if there are bumps, if you, if you are aware of the bumps, you will drive slow. But if you are not aware of the bumps, you will hit, uh, maybe you have a collision. Maybe you are going to have an accident. So friends, take it in a positive spirit. Don't take it in a negative spirit that I am making negative predictions. I can't, I am not controlling, I cannot, I am nobody to control the planets. But whatever I am seeing, I am predicting and they are becoming, the prediction is becoming true. So where is the question of my making negative predictions? The predictions, so long as they are proving true, is okay. You know, I am forewarning the people. So this is all friends, I just wanted to share that the planetary positions are taking an ugly turn, especially near the eclipses and all this happens near the eclipses. So the 30th, the, the partial uh, solar eclipse and then, then the lunar eclipse uh, after 15 days around the 16th of May and then again, uh, you see Mars will be activating it, so it is very bad. So Mars activation of the eclipse points and the the the, the planets uh, which uh, which create turbulence, you know, like the the planetary war between Venus and Jupiter. When it is activated by Mars, then it will show its results. So the bloodshed it shows bloodshed between 17th of May to 21st of May onwards. It is not only for three four days, but these three four days are instrumental for the ugly things taking an ugly turn. So this is all friends I just wanted to share. Thank you for listening to me. Have a good day. Bye bye.